So good, good day everyone. Uh, in this video, this is a recording video. In this video, uh, I'll be discussing the module two about the force vectors and equilibrium of particles. So, uh, kung may tanong kayo doon sa module one, uh, message na ako or the representative ng clarifications kayo. Uh, since uploaded ko no module 2 no, sa Google Classroom yun, no? so uh, ano na lang, i-scan nyo na lang yun, yun uh, try to look sa mga modules yun, sa mga topics, pero na dun sa section na hindi ko natapos yung discussion. So, uh, four vectors of uh, equilibrium of particles. Uh, first, no? Uh, I'll, I, I'll explain about the force system. So, uh, dito kasi, nung nakaraan, hindi ko nasabi yung iba't ibang uh, force system natin na gagamitin. Uh, so, dito, no, nilagay ko na, pero dito kasama sa module. So, ano lang, kumbaga, overview lang din. And then, uh, force system, any arrangement when two or more forces act on a body or a group of related bodies. So we have uh, four systems here, of planar, concurrent, parallel, and non-concurrent. So sa planar, no, the lines of action of all the forces lie in one plane. So yung idea niya lang is, lahat ng uh, uh, forces mo is nasa isang plane lang siya. So concurrent, the lines of action pass through a common point. So yung mga forces mo, no, uh, nagaling lang sa isang uh, sa isang point, no? whether it is compression or tension forces. And then, uh, parallel, the lines of action are parallel. So, may reaction ka no? and equal reaction. So, sa structures na, ano, structures mo sa uh, subject nyo sa ero, no? mga ano yan, distribution of load. And then, sa non-concurrent, the lines of action are neither parallel or non-intersect. At a common point. So, medyo ano siya, sabog-sabog. No? Uh, may hindi siya nag a sa isang plane or sa isang point. So, yun lang yun. No? Yung idea niya. Kung planar, uh, forces in one plane, concurrent, uh, line of action, sin a common point. And parallel is the lines of action are parallel and then non-concurrent. So, yun lang. Okay. Next is uh, addition of a system of container forces. So dito no uh, ano lang to overview lang din ng module 1 niyo uh, summation of forces lang by using uh, scalar or Cartesian vector okay So sa scalar notation no a rectangular force f component shown under the mean using the parallelogram formula so recap lang ulit no your summation of forces at x is equals to uh, your force times your cosine Theta. And then, uh, summation of forces at y is equals to uh, forces sine theta. So, yung, ano nyo, yung magnitude force. Ha? So, ito naman si summation of forces sa x and y. Okay. So, uh, by using that, no, uh, pwede yung gumamit ng slope or small slope triangle may also be used to describe the direction of force. So, kapag given ganyan, triangle. No? So, sa summation of forces ng x no, is equals to a over c. So, nanggaling lang yan dito, di ba? Ang summation of forces natin, sa x, or your 4x, nanggaling ka dyan, is plus 2, your force, uh, mag magnitude of your force, times cosine theta. So, cosine theta, di ba? Alam natin, ang cosine theta, is plus 2, your adjacent over your hypotenuse. Di ba? So, yung A natin is your uh, x, which is your adjacent, and your hypotenuse is your c. So, in-input mo lang yun dyan, magay mo dito, you will see, makuha mo na yung sa x-axis mo. And then sa y, same lang din sa y, na sinasabi natin na fy is plus 2, your force, your magnitude, times sine theta, and then, you know, uh, sine theta, alam natin ang sine theta, equals to your Uh, y, oh, y and y, over your hypotenuse. Di ba ang y natin is yung b? 
So, dito B. And then your C. No? The hypotenuse. So, input mo lang din yan. So, makukuha mo na yung uh, force mo sa Y. Negative yan kasi nga pababa. Okay? Sit down na. So, uh, tayo. Uh, Cartesian vector notation. Sa Cartesian vector notation, nagdagdag ko lang ng I and J. So, ang indication lang yun na may uh, direction yung forces mo. Okay? So, they are full unit vectors. Ang tawag yun is unit vectors. Since they have a dimensionless magnitude of 1 and hence can be used to define the position of the x and your y-axis. So, kapag mag-ano ka ng forces mo, ang total ng force, uh, magnitude ng force mo is, ano lang, uh, in, uh, force mo sa x, lagi mo lang siya i plus, force mo sa y, lagi mo j. So, for indication lang yun. So, that's the partition vector notation. Uh, kung sa problem na kapag sinabi yun, sa ganyang form yun. So, sa examples natin, magkita natin yung mga Okay? Then, we have complainer force result, uh, resultant. So, partition vector notation muna tayo. Uh, same lang din. No? Uh, kunyari, may tatlong forces ka dito. Your F1, F2, and F3. So, hanapin mo lang yung uh, forces niya at X and Y. And then, uh, rearrange mo lang siya. Okay? Lagay mo lang I and J. Then, makita mo yung resultant force nila, which is dito. Okay? Your resonant forces, I and J. So, same lang yan, no? Yung sa example natin ganina, no? Uh, ano lang, hindi isa lang. So, dito, tatlo. So, ganyan yung form niya. Okay? And then, container force resultant, no? Uh, by using scalar notation naman, simply, no? Simply lang na pag uh, summation ng resultant force mo ng x and y. So, we have F1x minus F2x plus F3x. That is your scalar notation lang. Kasi di ba dun sa Cartesian vector notation, meron kang uh, I and J. So, dito naman, ano lang, uh, normal magnitude lang ng force mo. Okay? Kung uh, uh, alam nyo naman yan kung bakit negative mo, Kasi nga, yung, kunyari, yung x2 mo, uh, nasa left yung x. And then, sa dito naman, so y pababa yung f3, so negative siya. So, yun lang. Okay? And then, complainer force resultant. Uh, same lang din, summation of your forces. No? Pagbuha ng summation of forces. Kasi nga, yung sa, uh, dito sa, ano natin, sa x and y natin, scalar notation, yun lang yung pagbuha ng resultant forces. Okay? So, same with your direction of your, uh, of your force, no? of your resultant force. So, uh, force mo lang yan, uh, towa lang yan. Ayan mo siya sa towa. Pagkuha ng angle. Kasi nga, kapag ang um, force mo, yun, even give yan, negative or uh, positive. So, yung y, um, so, given ka ng, kanyari, x mo, um, summation of forces mo sa x. Pagkuha na natin po Mary, ito yung summation of forces mo ng x. Ayan. Tapos, summation of forces ng y, pataas. Kasi, sabi natin, parehong positive. Ano, ha, parehong positive yan. So, yung summation of forces mo nyo dyan, then yung ang delotate mo, or direction nyo is yung ito. So, depende, no? Depende sa uh, signs nyan kung saan ka. So, kunyari, naman, negative yung x mo. So, dito ka pupunta, negative x. So, yung force mo ng resultant force sa x. And then, y mo naman, positive pa rin. So, pala yung negative to, ito yung positive. So, dito yung angle mo. And then, this is your theta. And then lang. So, yung galing yun. Okay. Next. Okay. Um, Uh, so, example. So, determine the x and y component of your F1 and F2 acting on the boom shown in the figure. So, express each force as a Cartesian vector. So, yun na natin dito is yung Cartesian vector natin, which is yung I and J. So, simply given, nagay mo, you have force 1, which is 200 newton. You have the angle na 30 degrees. Then, your uh, F2, which is 260 newton. And required daw, hanapin yung... Uh, x and y component natin, ng F1 and F2, okay? In Cartesian vector form. So, 
uh, first, no, summation of forces natin sa F1. So, F1, same, ano, same concept ng uh, sine cosine natin. Yung no? forces. So, F1 times sine 30. Eh, di ba, ang X natin is karap niya yung angle natin. So, dati nung may tanong no, about, yun nga, parang na-discuss ko na din sa module 1 nyo, no? na yung uh, forces daw, ganyan. Forces no 1. Which is the one. May kapitan 30. Yung sinabi kong cosine, lahat ng x, tapos lahat ng y sign. Kasi doon guys, ito yung fx. So dito, harap niya kasi sign. If you're use, uh, gagamit ka ng cosine, you're going to use cosine. <laughs> Dapat yung angle na gagamitin mo. Yung angle na gagamitin mo is here. Yung 60. Kasi di ba sa right uh, triangle natin. 90 yan. So mo minus mo lang din. Ano dito? Fy. Fy. X. So, kapag cosine na gagamitin mo, lagay mo dyan, cosine 60. Kasi dito, eh, dito ka nag-base. Yung sa force mo. Dito yung angle mo. So, yun yung ginagamit ko kasi pa rin lang naman ito. Sa lahat, lahat ng uh, forces at x, cosine, tapos sa y, sine. Pero, dito sa ano nyo kasi, no, uh, kung given ka naman ng angle dyan, so gamitin mo na yung sine kasi katapat siya. Kasi yun yung x component mo ng force. No. So, yun yung sinasabi ko nung nakaraan. Kasi may tanong sa akin yung student. Ano, tapos nalito daw siya. Yung bakit daw ganun. So, nung nakaraan kasi na example, 45 yun. So, 45, 45, same lang sila. Ang sagot, whether it is cosine or sine. So, so kung gagamitin mo yung cosine, 60. Gagamitin mo. Okay? Kasi nga, nag-refer ka sa mag-success mo. So, yun lang. So, try nyo kung uh, same lang. O sign 60 dyan. Ito nyo dito sa F1. Pero same lang yung lalabas. Okay? Na negative 100 Newton since papunta siyang left. Okay? So, next is uh, same concept sa Y nyo. So, forces sa uh, Y axis. So, we have uh, F1 O sign theta. Then, uh, input mo lang you'll get 173 20, uh, 20.5808 Newton. Okay? So, so i-arrange natin siya sa Cartesian vector, which is our F1 is equals to open parenthesis minus 100i uh, plus 173.21j uh, cross parenthesis n. Actually, hindi ko alam ang mga tao dito. <laughs> so, Newton. So, ito yung Cartesian vector mo. Okay? No? Yan yung form ng Cartesian vector mo sa F1. Kasi doon sa question natin yun na ang so, um, F1 and F2 niya. Ang Cartesian vector, uh, Cartesian vector ang gagandi ka ng I, gagandi ka ng J. Yun lang. Okay? And then, uh, sa F2 naman, no? gamitin natin F2, uh, pero given tayo ng triangle. So, di ba, sinabi ko kanina, no? na ano lang yan, cosine and sine, where your cosine here is 12 over 13, since ito, no? yung X mo is a 12, and hypotenuse mo is so 13. So, input mo lang yun dyan. So, F2. No? F2 is your 260 times 12 over 13 plus 240 newtons. And same lang din gagawin nyo sa y by using your sine. Sine is your uh, y over your hypotenuse or your opposite. No? Opposite over your hypotenuse. So, input mo lang din. Sine. No? Basic algebra transpose that. Kumbaga no? substitute. Hala. Yan. And substitute mo dyan. F2 times 5 over 13, so 260. Now, given sa'yo, times yung 5 over 13, you'll get uh, 100 newtons negative kasi nga, pababa. And then, uh, arrange mo na siya sa Cartesian vector, you have 240i minus 100j, tapos, plus parenthesis, newton. So, that is your F2. So, basic, di ba? Meron mo ng F1 and F2. So, sa question dito, no, kapag hinanap naman yung result at force, so, solve mo lang din siya. Na uh, so sabi, uh, find the resultant force. So, summation of forces mo lang, no? Ang x and y. Okay? So, sabi natin sa F1 natin, di ba? 
negative 100 newton here. And then your F1 sa isa is uh, 240. So, summation of forces mo lang, 140. Then, your uh, ito, yung axis mo na ito, na uh, 73. No? 73 point, minus mo lang yun sa Y. And then, you get uh, 73.2058 na force nito. And then, uh, sabi dito, no? Uh, in direction niya, kung saan yung direction niya. So, use the towa. Simply using it. And then, you'll get your theta. So, lalagay mo lang, ipit mo lang siya dyan. Ito din sinabi ko kanina, no? So, uh, dito ay mali pa na ito. Dito negative. So, it's 140. Hindi, hindi siya magiging negative. This is the mission of forces. So, plus mo lang yun. And then, dito, plus 240. So, F ko kasi is uh, 240 newton yung papuntang right so hindi yan balito so we get 27 then ito pala baliktad dapat sa kabila siya so mali yung power point so sinabi ko kanina Dito. Pag dalawang positive yan, left and right. So, dito yung isa mo, yung x mo, na 140. Then your uh, 73 na y. No, 73. So, ganito. Yung resultant force mo, then your angle here, 27. So, yan. 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 So, ito yung susundin niya. Okay. Lagi pala yung nalagay dito. Okay. So, next is uh, link in this figure subjected to two forces. So, F1 and F2 determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. So, ito yung example natin nakaraan. No? So, kailangan ko ba natin na-explain to? So, same lang din, no? gamitan lang natin ng uh, summation of forces pero in partition vector form. No? Partition vector notation yung gagamitin natin. So, since uh, pinatakas na natin siya. So, since nasolve na natin ito yung nakaraan sa module 1, no? so we we'll get uh, summation of forces at x and summation of forces at y na 236.77 and 582. Okay? So, same lang din yung direction niya. This is your resultant force. No, it's in 236 mo, dito, ano mo, 5, uh, 582, given ka. No? And then, may tamang 67, so dito yan. So ito, pwede naman dito yan, no? Sabila. Para mas maintindihan, parang ganito. Dito na form. Okay? Sa module na din kasi galing yan. Okay? So, uh, sa Cartesian vector notation natin, no? Ito lang yung x mo and y, dagdag ka lang ng i and j. Okay? So, basic lang. Next, no, Cartesian vectors as extended to solving problems in three dimensions, the operation of vector algebra are vastly simplified if the vectors are expressed first in Cartesian vector form. Okay. So, Cartesian vector form, no, uh, use the right-handed coordinate system. So, uh, meron kang Z dito sa thumb mo, yung x-axis mo pataas, so positive yan, no? positive. Then your y, papunta sa'yo, positive din yan, and then your x, papunta sa harap ng palm mo, which is ito, so positive yan. Kasi di ba sa y-axis natin, dito, diba? so y-axis, uh, y, y mo, yung x mo, positive-positive yan. Positive, positive. So, parang pinahiga mo lang siya. Uh, pag ganito. Uh, this is your x. This is your y. And then, tindag ka lang ng c. So, y mo to. Positive yan. And then, yung x. Positive din. And then, yung mga dito. Negative yung y mo na dito. Negative yung x mo dito. And dito na, mapababa ng z. Negative yan. Okay? So, that's your uh, right-handed coordinate system. No? Okay. So, try nyo lang mag-thumbs up dyan. Then, 
malaman nyo na no, kung saan yung X mo, X and Y mo ang yung Z. Yung positive negative mo, kung saan man. Okay? <clears throat> and then, uh, summation forces, same lang din, nagdagdagdalang yung Z. So, a vector A may have one, two, or three rectangular components. Mm -hmm. no? So, using parallelogram do lang din, no? na kung saan yung edges mo, uh, same lang, no? Kapag ito, so mamaya, i-discuss natin yan, di ba sa triangle natin, rectangular man yan, basta four sides. May parehong sides dyan, and equal, uh, may parehong equal sides, yung dalawa, and dalawa din dito sa uh, kabila. So, uh, yung A mo daw, no? itong A, sa gitna, siya siya diagonal na, ano, na, course kasi sa ano kasi yan sa vector yung ano kasi sa to do sa magnitude ah, sa magnitude sa module 1 uh, sa module 2 niyo ay yung nakalagay sa vector A so prefer na F din to kung naging force kaya ako naglagay dito ng F kasi si yung magnitude tapos dito naman is your F prime kasi A prime nakalagay so sa A muna tayo kasi mo maintindihan natin no Okay, so sabi dito na ang AX plus AY plus AZ ng itong AX, AY tsaka AZ is equals to your magnitude A or vector A since uh, may direction siya. Okay? And then, no, dito sa ano na to, sa photo na to, okay, However, in general, if A is directed inside an octant of x, y, z, uh, x, y, z set, then due to successi uh, successive parallelogram law implementation, we can transform the vector in, into components as A is equals to A prime plus A, z, and the figure A prime equals to A, x plus A, y as seen in the figure. So, okay, na dito picture. Okay. <laughs> So, so, sabi dito, no? your uh, vector A is equal to your A prime plus A Z. So, sabi, is your A, your vector A, is so your A prime plus A Z. And then, sabi, Ang um, A, A prime mo, A prime here, A prime mo, A prime, is equal to your AX. Bakit? No? Bakit naging equal sila? Kasi sa under ng parallelogram rule natin, which itong AZ, AZ, and your A prime, once na mag-intersect sila ng point, is equal doon sa length ng A natin. Okay, di ba? Imagine nyo lang na kahiga yan. Kahiga. Ito yung A prime. Or nasa 2D plane ka lang. Imagine nyo lang. Dalawa lang AZ at A prime. A prime. AZ and A prime. So once na mag-intersect sila, di ba? Ito yung A mo. Once na ma-reach nyo na yung point na kung saan pwede na sila mag-intersect, is equal na sila doon sa A mo dito sa loob. Okay? Ang doon paralelogram law o rule doon sa module 1 natin. And then, same lang din dito sa A prime is equals to AX plus AY dito sa baba. Okay? Dito sa baba. AX and AY. So, once na mag-reach yan, no? kunyari, imagine nyo lang. Palitan color para dito. So, imagine nyo, no? Na A, A, X, A, X, A, Y, no? same lang din ang principle na parallelogram tool, no? na kung saan, o itong A prime nyo, no? imagine na, nakababa ko na, no? A prime, once na mag-intersect sila doon, ma-reach nila yung point kung saan pwede na sila mag-intersect, walang sila sa A prime nila. So, ito yun. Okay? So, substitute mo lang yan, no? 
yung A' mo, kung sa problem, so sa problem, makita natin yung magagamit natin yan. So, yun lang yung rule ng parallelogram natin, no? dito sa figure nito. So, rectangular components sa vector. And then, no, sa Cartesian unit vectors naman, maglalagay ka lang ng ulit ng, ng uh, indication, which is K. Okay? Kasi sa uh, XY natin, we have I and J. So, sa Z natin na madadagdag, maglalagay lang tayo ng K. So, ito lang yun, yung Cartesian unit vector. No? And then, no? So, ito naman, Cartesian vector pres uh, representation, which, yung um, magnitude of your force, no? or kung ano man yan, force or direction, no? is equal to your diagonal or your force AXI plus AY, uh, AYJ plus AZK. So, naglagay lang ako ng F dito yung para hindi kayo malito. So, yun lang yan, no? Same lang sila yan. Kung sa exam, no? Kung gagamit mo kayo ng F or A, okay lang naman. May hindi lang ganun yun. Pero prefer ko yung sa module na lang itong A. Okay? So, naglagay ka lang ng arrange ka lang ng I, J, and your Okay, done. Okay. Next is coordinate direction angle. So, maglalagay ka na ito ng angles mo. So, dito, no? Wait lang. Consider the projection of A, no? of your, uh, or your vector A, into the X, Y, Z axis. So, figure to evaluate your alpha, beta, and gamma. We have reference to the right colored triangle shown in the figure. So, ito yun. So, if you're referring no, sa vector A mo at x-axis, no, it will be your alpha. Okay? And sa cosine naman, sa, ano naman, sa y-axis mo, so your vector A at y over your vector A, so beta yung gagamitin mo. Cosine, cosine, beta, which is dito sa so y. No? Dito, dito sa, picture, sa picture natin. So, tingnan nyo to. And then, sa gamma naman is your z. So, cosine gamma is equal to your, to your vector A at z-axis over your vector A. So, take A mo. So, huwag lang kayo malito sa vector. Ito yung tawag for, for force magnitude or force vector. So, mamaya, uh, himay natin siya once na may uh, ano na tayo, uh, problem solving. Okay? For examples. So, coordinate direction angles. Uh, ang simple. No? Ang simple. A simple. Okay. Uh, ano yun, a simple way to obtain these cosines and direction is to form a unit vector which is your mu a or u a or theta in the direction of a or your vector a. So if vector a is expressed in the form of the Cartesian vector which is a is equal to a x i plus a y a a y j plus a z k then u a or your mu a will have one magnitude no? or unit vector kasi yan, meaning ng u a is your, is unit vector will have one magnitude and be dimensionless given that the a is divided by its magnitude. So, yung ve unit vector mo daw, so, you're getting your uh, unit vector, so unit vector a equals to your uh, Supposed to your bold A kasi nakalagay sa ano yun eh, sa, sa, sa module nyo. So, mas gusto ko siyang sabihin uh, force vector. Ito yung force vector nyo, kung may direction nyo. Force vector over your magnitude of your force. Ito yung magnitude ng force nyo. Okay? So, ito lang yun guys. Same lang yan. Force sa magnitude. Kasi nga, ang ano nyo, um, position vector nyo, no? or your, ay, I mean your force vector, no? is equal to AXI plus AYJ plas AYK. Tapos dinividean mo lang siya ng magnitude mismo, ng force mo. Okay? So, where A is equal to square root of AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared, no? It is seen that the IAJ compo components of your unit, unit, unit vector A represent the direction of cosine, uh, cosine uh, force vector. So, medyo nakakalito siya in terms of terms. No? 
Pero kung titingnan mo naman, uh, magigets mo naman siya. Bold A kasi nakalagay niya. No? Dun sa da- dapat meron siyang indication. So, huwag lang kayo malito din sa modules niyo Kaya ako naglagay ng citation nito. No? F, F na may direction. No? First vector dito. Okay? So, by using that, no? Uh, Pythagorean lang din. No? You have mu A is equals your cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. So, uh, makikita nyo yung sa modules nyo once na check nyo siya. Okay? For clarifications, may mga video din doon. So, dito, summarize na lang natin. Okay? So, direction angle identity. So, same lang din. No? Para makuha yung uh, yung uh, alpha beta, uh, beta tsaka gamma nyo. So, cosine alpha is plus to AX over A. Kaya katulad na sinabi ko dito. Ito lang yon Then, sa Y mo, beta and your Uh, Z. Z to. Sorry. Or, kasi mali din. Mali ata yun sa ano nyo? Modules nyo. So Z yan. Okay? So marami pang mali talaga. Kasi yun nga, newly hired din ako. Kaya ko lang siya napapansin. Uh, hindi pa siya na-edit. So siguro by next sem may edit na siya sana. So yun. Okay? So you'll get this. Uh, ano to? Diba? This is your trigon- trigonometric function lang. which is 1 is plus 2 cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma. So here we can see that if only two of the coordinates angle are known, the third angle can be found using this equation. So magagamit ito. Okay? So advice ko lang na huwag lang kayo malito sa okay, yun na may direction, which is your uh, vector, of course, vector nyo, and your a na magnitude lang. Of course, magnitude. You know? So, ito is first vector for your move A. Uh, sinasabi sa module, then your first magnitude yun. So, ito yung wala-wala nyo. Ano Mouse. Okay. So, yun lang yan. Okay. And then, Uh, lastly, if the magnitude and coordinate direction angles A are known, then A can be expressed as Cartesian vector. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko din kanina. Nare-realize mo yung uh, force mo, force vector mo in Cartesian form or notation. So, ang dadag ko ng I, A, Y, J. So, ano yun na? Ah? Um, Kalitan ka ng colors. So, So, T, sinasabi ni A. So, A for first vector A. First to your magnitude. So, I. Plus, U, Y, J. And your. Kasi hindi ko na sa baba. Kasi hindi mo ka dito. A, Z. Okay. So, ganyan lang yan. Same lang yan. Okay. Tapos nga, yung sinabi ko din, yung sa course, yung sa course ng direction, what's next time. So, same lang din yun. So, ito lang yun. Ito pa. Okay. Okay. So, next is addition of partition vectors. So, sinasabi lang dito na if this is generalized and extended to a system of multiple concurrent courses, so, nagani siya sa isang point, sinabi lang concurrent, no? Thus, the resulting force is, is the vector sum of all forces within the system and can be written as ito. So, summation of your forces no? ng x, y, and z yung may i, j, and k. So, yun lang siya, di ba? Uh, simple lang. Para ka lang, nagdagdag ka lang talaga ng z na pang pagulo. So, kasama. <laughs> Kasi 3D na yan, okay? 3-dimensional. So, example. Express the force F shown in the vi- figure as Cartesian vector. So, pag sinabi natin uh, dito, no? kunyari, sinabi azimuth, no? so from x pababa, so imagine natin, no? imagine natin to. Imagine natin, no? ito yung y natin, ito yung z. Pag sinabi azimuth, no? azimuth, is the angle, no? the angle azimuth, pababa ng x mo, dito, pababa. Okay? 
So, pababa yung azimuth mo. Imagine mo lang yan guys, ha? Yung pababa. Okay? Kasi nga, kung titingnan mo yan sa 2D lang, ng Y and X. Dito yan. Dito yan. Okay? The 45. 35 degrees. And then, your elevation, no? Referring sa Z. So, tumaas, tumaas siya. No? So, copy natin ito. Angle elevation. Tapos sinabi rin sa problem na uh, angle of elevation siya. So, this is your angle of elevation. Okay. Angle of elevation mo, which is 60 degrees. So, yan yan. Okay? So, you are given the lang force na 100 pounds. And then, uh, gagamitin lang natin to, yung kanina sinabi ko no, na force is equal to F prime plus Fz and your F prime is equal to Fx plus Fy. So, First is Fz. So, force at Z axis is equal to 100. 100 sin 60. Bakit siya naging 100 sin 60? Kasi nga, ito yung Fz mo. Okay? Fz mo, tapat niya yung 60. So, imagine mo lang ulit na naka-axis uh, ka na ang ganito. And this is your F prime. Okay? F prime. So, your A prime. So, Kaya bala kung anong indication nyo doon. Basta pakikita ko naman yan. F prime yung FG. FG. Wala wala nyo. So, yan na. So, 60. So, so FG. Sign katapat lang. So, uh, input sa calculator, 86.6. So, sa F prime naman, same lang din. F prime is equals to 100 cosine 60. <coughs> Which is sa baba siya, di ba? prime dito, sa tabi yung 60, mawa mo yung force mo sa uh, F prime. And then, same with uh, Fx. So, sa force ka ng Fx mo, since meron ka ng F prime, input mo lang cosine 45. So, dito, gawa ka naman ng triangle mo. Okay, body diagram mo. Parang hindi naman ito. So, imagine nyo, nakaigayan. Okay, nakaigayan ka. So, F prime... I have find your fx here. Ano ba yung ready? Tama ako. fx here. Then your angle here na 45. Then this is your fy. Kasi nga kataas mo. fy. And this is your f prime. Kasi nga kami yung f prime. Okay? Which is your force. So, the input lang siya, F prime cosine 45, so 50 cosine 45 is 35.4 pounds. And then your Fy, same na din, sine, since katapat, F prime sine 45 is equals to 50 sine 45 equals to 35.41. So, meron ka ng uh, XYZ, so i-arrange natin siya in partition form, or partition vector form, you have uh, 35.4i, which is your fx. Ito. Okay? Positive, kasi nga, papunta dito, no? Yung sinabi ko kanina, explanation ka ng uh, right-handed rule. And then, negative 35.4, so negative yung y mo dito. Dito, 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 dito. And then, 86.6, no? Mataas, positive. Kasi tumaas kayo, this is z. No? So, ito yung Cartesian vector notation mo, or form mo, no? Uh, force mo. So, uh, kapag dito, hindi naman hinanap kung kung ano yung resulta mo. So, hanapin mo yung resulta mo pag sinabi yung resulta. So, kung yung resulta, so, basically, Pythagorean theorem lang. Add mo lang yung lahat, then you'll get 100 pounds. So, tama. Ang sagot mo. No? Yung Cartesian vector notation mo. No? Kung i-check mo siya. So, tama. Tama, diba? So, yun lang yun. So, uh, kung needed naman, if needed the coordinate direction angles of your F, you can determine from the components of unit vector acting in the direction. So, this is your unit vector yung yun mo. Okay? So, F mo, which is your yung direction yan, direction, um, force vector mo, yung may direction over dun sa magnitude of your force lang. Okay? So, kanina na pinakita ko no, ng U, Squares to gano'n ganyan. Ito lang yon, Okay? 
Kasi A yung nakalagay dun eh. So, yun lang yun, input mo siya. Then, paano nakuha tong uh, dito sa figure natin, yung mga angles niya. So, try nyo sa calculator, yun no? Know? Cosine, yung sinabi natin, uh, cosine alpha, pakita ko na lang din dito sa video. Yung cosine alpha, ito. Okay? Hindi yan, hindi yan, chop lang. Ito. So, kasi dito may unit vector ka. Okay, so cosine alpha i plus cosine alpha beta j plus cosine gamma t. So, yun yung gagamitin mo dito. So, ano mo lang yan? Uh, cosine arc sine, I mean, law or inverse sine of your cosine. And then, uh, input mo lang kung 0.54, you'll get 369.3. And then, negative ito, talagay mo ito, negative. Kasi nga lalagpas siya, magpas siya dito. So negative yun, yung sa y mo. And then, positive sa j or your, uh, I mean your k at your z. So 30, sa pataas siya, positive. Okay? So kung na-check nyo sa ano nyo, as lang kayo ng question, kung may tanong. Okay? So lesson 3, position vectors. So sa position vectors, sa posi uh, position vector r is defined as a fixed vector that locates a point relative to another point in space. So, yun yung indication mo from your origin or kung saan ka mang galing mo, kung saan yung um, point of uh, starting point mo to your another point. So, meron tayo dito, no? So, later on, mabigyan ko naman ng example yan. So, same, ano, same uh, gagamitin natin is your right-handed coordinate system. So, x, y, z, your dimensions. And then, uh, space points are de defined by successive measurements along the x, and y, z, uh, x, y, z axis rel relative to the origin of your coordinates. So, 0 or your oh, so origin mo and done. Okay? 0, 0, 0 lahat dyan kasi sa coordinates. So, hanap, example natin na hanapin natin itong A na to. So, wait lang. And then, uh, okay. oh, my goodness. So, yan. Uh, sorry for the baby. So, yan. So, the coordinates of point A, for example, are obtained by starting at your origin and measuring x is equal to 4 meters. So, sabi na ito dito, no? 0 to 4. So, your A. Your A. Your A. Will be 4 meters. Means 4 meters yung ito. Okay? Sa, sa, sa X mo. No? So, dito. Okay. So, okay. X. And then, uh, then Y equals to 2 meters yung y mo so tawid ka lang dyan 2 meters then z which is negative 6 meter long so ito yung 6 mo x x and then y so ito yung point mo so 4 meters 2 meters so yung coordinate points mo basic lang kasi magamit natin yan combination na naman ng uh, forces natin doon then may coordinate style na ibigay. Okay? So, position vector. The position vector R is defined as a fixed vector that locates at a point relative to another point. So, simply, no, for example, if R extends from the origin of coordinates to point uh, X, Y, Z, dito sa picture na to, then R can be expressed in Cartesian vector form as I, J, and K. So, yun lang yun, no? Yung, ano niya? concept niya. Okay? So, so, kung may ano tayo, no? kung may prob, uh, problem solving, mas mighty yan natin siya. So, 
Note how the adding of the head to tail vector of the three components yield vector R. So beginning with the origin, one travels X. So direction of positive I, so positive ka dyan kasi nga, papunta ka dito, sa X mo dito na side. Then Y in the direction of J, which is positive then kasi nga, sa Y mo. Diba? Pataas dito. Positive then And finally, Z in the direction of K. So, pataas sa Z mo. So, K lang yun. So, K point X, Y, Z na yun. Okay? So, sa position vector, if the uh, in, in the more general case, the position vector in space in the figure below may be directed from point A to point B. Even the symbol R designated this vector. So, the vector without. Okay? And then, you can all, uh, often refer to this vector as a matter of convention with two subscripts to indicate from, from and to the point where it is directed. So therefore, R can also be represented as RAB. So RAB, ito yung R mo, kasi nga, uh, combination ng R and, R and B mo. And then, uh, R and B are referenced only with one subscript as they extend from group to the coordinate. So simply lang na indication ng yun, no? parang hindi naman ito. May point 1 ka, may point 2 ka. So, R, E, and R, B. Yan lang yun. Okay? And then, by the head tail vector, adding using the triangle rule, we require R, A, or your uh, magnitude R, or your vector R, A, plus R, which is the position vector, is equal to R, B, or your, your magnitude at R, uh, at B. No? So, medyo nakakalit ulit no? kasi kung gagagal na naman tayo ng R since na dapat isa lang yung gagamitin natin pero kasi dito is point to point so indication kasi yung R as, as your uh, uh, vector in coordinates kasi doon kanina sa isa forces yun which is A yung ginagamit okay? so re-rearrange mo lang siya oh, bakit pala naging R A plus R is plus 2 sa head to tail kasi natin no? sa head to tail na rule head to tail rule Color. No. Uh, ay. Kasi di ba, kapag may point tayo dito, may point tayo dito, may point tayo dito, sa uh, triangle rule natin, on your origin, on your origin, chin, your P, this is your P, the longest line. First two. So this is your R. So this is your R1 or R2 or the longest indication there. So R2. No? So RB. 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 Okay. Here it goes up here. No. So RA and RB, no? So this is your R. Pag pinag-add mo yung RA mo and itong R mo, sequence lang siya sa RB kasi this is your longest. So head, this is your head. This is your tail. Okay? So yun yung concept niya. Doon sa triangle rule natin, yung module 1. No? Kasi parallelogram rule, di ba yun? Saan doon yung parallelogram? Uh, Meron ka tayo. Okay. So yun yung uh, concept ng head to tail vector. So by rearranging, no? And uh, solving ng x, y, and z mo. So, ito yung magiging, uh, ano mo, magiging formula mo. For your uh, form ng partition vector ng coordinates vector. Okay? So, ang dami na tayong naging dami na natin term. So, huwag na tayong malito guys sa page. Next, so, ito example. No? Para malaman natin kung ano talaga yung nangyayari dito. An elastic rubber band is attached to point A and B as shown in the figure. So, in figure natin, determine its length and its direction measured from A towards B. So, copy natin ito. Oh. Ayan. So, yung, yung point natin, yung dalawa, yung point A, point A, and then point B. So, at A, 
Okay. Ngayon natin yung points natin. We have so x is 1 meter. Means pag ganito siya, 1 meter. And then y, which is what? 0, kasi hindi ka naman umalis. x, y is 0. Y mo, ito yung y mo, hindi ka umalis din sa plane mo. Dito ka pa rin. And then, negative 3. Ito. Si Z. So, negative 3 meters. So, yan yung coordinates mo sa A. So, at B naman, at B, we have negative 2 meters sa X natin. Since, uh, negative siya, di ba, pagpunta doon? Sinabi ko kanina, tayo tanded natin. So, negative 2 meters. And your y is positive kasi umalis ka eh, di ba? Umalis ka siya. Kasi ito kasi, nasa plane pa rin siya ng y. Ito, umalis siya by 2 meters. Ito yung 2 meters. And your z, b. Yung z, b na positive kasi na kataas. 2 meters. Okay, this is your uh, coordinates. So, dito lang yan. And then, no? Uh, continuation natin, this is your position vector kasi hindi ako nilalagyan ng arrow pa rin yung hinahakal ito. Okay, so may arrow ko dyan, uh, position vector, no? sinabi yung formula, input natin siya, so sa B, Y, and Z. So we will get this form, no? itong Cartesian vector form mo. So, sabi sa question, no? determine its length and direction measured from A towards to B. So, Yung required natin is yung R, which is your magnitude or your length, and then your alpha, beta, and gamma. So, direction kasi yun, guys. Okay. So, input na natin siya, Pythagorean theorem. So, square root of uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So, we'll get 7 meters. So, try to check in your calculator kung tama. And then, uh, by using ng rule nat kanina sa unit vector natin, no? vector, diba? Ang unit vector natin kanina, ng R, kasi A kanina, diba? So, ibig tayo na dito. You have your R here, yung may direction. Ang for your magnitude ng R lang, which is yung length na yun. Okay? So, yung R, position vector over your R. So, simply, same lang din dun sa magamit natin. Na? Dito. No? Dito. Okay? So, nag-over R ka lang dyan, which is for 7 meters. And then, we'll get this uh, Cartesian vector form ng unit vector natin. So, ito yung unit vector. So, alpha, beta, and your gamma. So, ano lang, inverse cosine or cosine or shift cosine sa uh, yung calculator nyo. And then, input mo lang yung negative 2, 7. Same lang din yun. Okay? So, try natin. Ito yung cosine. Saka, ano kasi dito sa yung calculator na. So, yun lang tayo 115. No? Ah, yung lagay mo dyan, negative. No? Kasi yung 3 mo is pa baba. Okay, then we got 73 sa beta and gamma sa y. So, yun mo siya guys. Okay? A. Then lesson 4, force vector directed along a line. So, sa isang section, hindi lang gumabog dito sa lesson 4. Pero natapos ko yung uh, lesson 4 sa kabilang section. So, very often in problems of three-dimensional statics, the direction of force is better made by two points from which its line of action goes from. So, meron ka lang point. So, galing ka dito sa point A. Tapos may force ka na. Kasi doon di ba coordinates yung dito natin. Diba? So, length lang yung hinanap ito. May force na tayo. So, force vector direct, directed along line. So, such a situation is illustrated in the figure where force F is guided along, along chord B by recognizing that it has the same direction and meaning as the location. So, vector R, no? Or your uh, vector R, tama, position vector, directed from point A to B on the string. So, we can formulate F as a Cartesian vector. So, F na naman siya, di ba? So, may force ka na kasi. 
Okay, so the unit vector or u, the unit vector is equals to your uh, position vector over the magnitude lang. So this is magnitude ng r. So this is your position vector and this is your unit vector. Okay, parang dito mo ito. Then input lang kasi nga f natin, di ba? So f is equals to u kasi ang u natin, di ba? u using ano lang din, unit vector natin. So f na may position vector kanina kasi force to f, di ba? Or a to f. Para di tayo magkalit-kalit tayo. This to your a. Naman, dito, mag your f. Na a lang. Okay? So sa module mo, boom, a. So, ano yung magamit yan? So, force yan. Then, your u, then, di ba? Your a, yung vector mo, is equals to your r, yung may, ano, using your uh, position vector to do your position vector a position vector is yun lang yung uh, force vector mo is yung may force okay so kung tayo malito dyan malito dyan so r is your magnitude okay so input na natin yan for f so same lang din and we get this so combination na siya okay yung sama sama so, example, we have example here. The man shown in the figure cruise on the cord with a force of 70 pounds. So, represent this acting on the support A as a Cartesian vector and determine its direction. So, na, saan tayo? Cartesian, uh, Cartesian vector form. So, uh, ano natin? Summation natin. Ah, summation. Ano natin yung points natin from A. So, yung point A. So, at X. X A. Is zero. Kasi dito, di ba? Alawin ka lang, hindi ka umalis ng origin. So, so zero other than x. And then, so y mo, zero din. Kasi hindi ka rin umalis ng origin mo. So, zero. Then, your z. So, maglalagay ka na, z is 30 feet. So, 30 feet and then, guys. Okay? 30 feet. So, kasi siya nyo na. So, that's a thing. And then, okay? So, y. At, at B, at B, at B, at B, or if you look at B, no, you have no, X, B at 12 feet kasi yung mas kayong tao mo nandun, yung pulling force nandun. So, 12 feet, positive. And then, we have negative 8, B, no, sa so, Y, B mo negative 8 feet. So, dito ka sa gilid eh, dito ka sa gilid pa baba ng Y mo. So, negative 8. And then, no, si Zemo, you have positive 6 kasi nandun yung level ng force ng tao mo. Kung may height yung tao mo, so 6 scooter yung tao mo. 6 scooter siya, so 6 feet. Okay? So, taas pala niya, no? Hinihira niya yung cord doon. So, hindi natin alam ba't niya hinihira. <laughs> Mayroon sa problem na yan. And then, hinahanap is your force vector, your your uh, direction ng alpha at your x, so beta at y, and gamma at z. So, solution. So, same lang din. <clears throat> Find your position vector. Kung sasama yung position vector mo at x, y, and z. So, pal, mag-0, since wala ka 0. Then, negative 8. Okay, negative 8 mo b. Okay? And then, your Z in the 6 minus 300. Uh, I mean, 6 minus 30. 30 feet. Okay? So, R mo lang. So, position vector. Summation ng Cartesian vector mo is plus 212i minus 8j minus 24k feet. Okay? And then, Pythagorean lang to find your magnitude or your length. The magnitude mo, which is 28 feet. So, your unit vector AB from your from this uh, diagram, from this picture, is equals to your position vector over your what? Your magnitude or length r. Okay? The 28 feet. So, lalagay mo siya dyan. Input mo lang. So, diba? Yung formula natin ng unit vector, huwag nyo kalimutan. Uh, unit vector lang is equals to r, uh, uh, your position vector of your uh, magnitude. Okay? So, magamit din siya sa force. Same din na force. 
Okay? And then, no? Yung put mo lang siya. Kasi nga, may force tayo na 7, 70 pounds. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yun. Input natin siya. Times natin siya sa force mo. Which is your force magnitude na FAB. Okay? So, simply. Diba? So, 70 pounds times your unit vector yung nakuha natin dun sa length ng coordinates mo. And then, input ng no, so 70 times 80 over 28 minus 18 over 28J minus 24 uh, 24 over 28, no? Sequence 2. Your force vector is equal to 30. Okay? Minus 20J minus 60. Okay? Times your pounds. So, force kasi yan. Okay? Magiging, ano yung dapat niya? Yeah, force na. Kasi nga, nakansin na yung ano mo dito eh. Over niyan. So, force niyan. Okay? Bam, sabi nyo, foot, pound. Ang ganun. So, pounds. Okay, nakansin na yung foot, uh, yung unit mo dito. Yung length mo. Okay, so, uh, input na natin siya. Yung para, so, may sagot na tayo na isa, which is FAB na inalat natin, or your first vector, AB. And then, we have uh, alpha, beta, and gamma mo. So, input mo siya sa formula mo, in your calculator, and you'll get 64.6 degree at your alpha. Your beta naman is 170 degree, and your gamma is 145, uh, 49 degree. So, yun lang. Basic, di ba? So, pinagsama mo na yung force and your uh, uh, position vector. So, kapag dumami yan, yun 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 sa ulo. So, sa mode, yun yung example ba? So, try to check guys. Then, lesson 5, equilibrium of a particle. So, condition for the equilibrium of a particle. So, medyo conceptual lang to. Sa mission of the force is equals to 0. So, kasi equal, equilibrium ka. Static. Yung yun yun force. Hindi ka gumagalaw and uh, nasa state of rest ka. Okay? So, Newton's first law lang yun. Motion. Okay? Next is the free body diagram. So, ito, uh, ano natin yan? May may din natin yung free body diagram. Uh, yung nangyayari yung sa forces mo since may tao ka dito. Picture the particle with all the forces acting it on the free body diagram. So, Yung yung weight, yung first na pataas na reaction, yung friction ka dito, yung pagpigil, and your tension here. So, basically, 6. Okay, so, free body diagram, no, sa static net and yung rigid bodies, meron tayo, spring, cable, pulley, and pulley sense, smooth contact. So, meron ganyan, sa smooth contact, neglected yung friction na taas. Parang sa, sa low. So, spring dito, may pagbabago, may changes sa length, once na ma-stretch itong spring mo, in their cables and pulleys, no, tension niya. Tension niya, no, position mo saan siya hinihila. So, mamaya, sakin natin. So, spring. So, spring, may simple ka na formula, which is your force is equals to K or your uh, uh, spring constant stiffness times your distance. No? So, pagbabago ng elongation of your spring. So, dito yan, no? Uh, proportional F. So, attribute defining a spring's elasticity. So, elasticity yung K. Spring constant or stiffness. Lagi mo given yan. Unless, yung given ka ng F, then your S. So, hanapin yung uh, constant stiffness mo. So, the ma uh, the magnitude of force exerted in a line uh, linearly elastic spring with a stiffness of K and a distance of S. No? The distance. So, ng, uh, ito mo, no? so, your, your elongated length of your spring minus the original length of your uh, spring. So, this unloaded position is deformed. So, na-elongate na siya, no? Or compressed. So, pag negative yan, uh, compressed siya. Pag elongated siya, positive siya. So, if, if S is positive, yung sinabi natin kanil dito, which causes an elongation? F must pull on the spring. Whereas, if S, F, 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 if, if S is negative, which causes a shortening. So, F must force it. Okay? So, huwag lang, huwag lang kayo malito. No? Elongation lang yun, guys. Ibigay ka ng elongation minus your original length. So, it is your distance traveled by your S kapag hindi siya. Okay? Or distance traveled by your uh, spring. Then, the force acting on it. Okay? 
So, yun yung simple lang, F is sa AS. So, example, for example, if the spring in the figure has an unstretched length of 0 0.8 meters, no? this is your um, unstretched length, which is your uh, original, the original length O, and the steepness of K, which is 500 Newton meter, it is stretched to a length of 1 meter, so it's stretched ng 1 meter. So that is, no? Ihanapin mo yung strength mo, much anong force yung required para mag-elongate siya ng 1 meter. And then, uh, input sa formula, so sa distance, it was your elongated length of your spring minus your original length of your spring. So you'll get 0 0.2 meters. So, then, a force of 100 newton is necessary. So, uh, times mo lang yung constant mo, or elasticity, K, okay, times your distance traveled by your spring. So, 100 newton yung necessary para mag-stretch mo siya ng ganun kalayo. Okay? And then, tables and pulleys. All tables or cords will be presumed to have a negligible weight. So, yung sasamang weight ng tables mo. Unless, other, otherwise, specified in the connect strain. So, a table may, kasi dito din, ano lang tayo eh, hindi, hindi siya nag-deform pa. Okay? So, sa susunod ng deformation niya. A cable may also withstand only a stress or pull force and that force always works in the cable's direction. No? Tension. So the tension for a force formed in a continuous cable which passes over a frictionless pulley will be shown to have a constant magnitude to keep the cable in equilibrium. So therefore, for every angle U or your angle U shown in figure 24, this is it, no? ito yun. The table undergoes a constant tension of, of throughout its length. So tension throughout its length. So nangyayari yun sa table mo. Okay? And then smooth contact. So basic physics lang. Times lang may angle ka. No? Nag-act dun sa plane mo. Okay? So, an example of this can be seen the figure beside this natural force, the weight ka, and so on. So, weight mo, then may, may reaction din ito na force, which is uh, applying in a 30 degree. So, tension ka na dito. So, mamaya, no, may mga ganun problem uh, kung sasama-samaan siya. So, since these three forces are simultaneous in the center of a cylinder, so we may apply the equilibrium equation to that particle, which is same as applying it to the cylinder. So, yun yun, yun yung act dito. May tension ko dito, may reaction ko dito, so yun yung weight dito. So, may XY component yun yun. Okay? So, procedure of drawing a free body diagram. Sinasabi ko na din, yung nagsilwag pa lang, na dapat mag-draw kayo. Kumbaga, alam nyo, pag parte-parte yung mga parts. Kasi sa tulsunod, magagamit nyo yun. So, uh, first is draw the outline shape, no? and then show all forces, and identify each forces. So, we have example here. The sphere in, uh, in the figure has a mass of 6 kg. This is supported as shown. So, as shown. So, draw a free body diagram with the sphere. The cord CE. So, CE and the knot at C. So, the knot can be C. So, saan, ano tong picture na to? Hindi natin alam kung bakit yung mga yan. <laughs> Bakit? Para saan ito? So, sabi nila, mag-solve lang. So, may mga tension dyan. Actually, mga gamit yun naman yun sa, um, sa structures. Um, airplane. Dito is example lang naman. Okay. And then, sa sphere natin, no, kapag natin natin siya, first is the room. Kuha natin dito. Kuha natin. Uh, three. Bloody diagram. Number one. Kasi natin 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 siya. Okay. So once the support are removed, we can see that there are four forces, four forces acting in the sphere. So namely, its weight is six kilogram times which is gravity. So the gravity natin na g nine point eight yung ginagamit natin lage sa ano yun sa metric then sa ano yun square root two one two nilam dito nito 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 ba one seven four yun so, 2.2. And then, no, the force of force CE, so, okay lang, no? So, free body diagram natin, kapag mag-drawing tayo, 
So for C D here, C D, and then you have force acting dito, and then dito. So may dalawa kasi yung action dyan. Eh. Dito. Yung support mo. So, mayroon ko yung force dito, yung D. May force dito, yung D. So, mayroon ko yung support mo. Ganun ka? Ang gawin ko na ito yung D. So, compare to the D. Kung may tablet na ako na, ang gawin na sa yun. So, tapos may force dito is yung weight. Weight mo. So, cause by smooth inclined plane, sa free body diagram is shown dito. Okay? So, ito lang pwede na din yung picture nito. Kahit po yung micro on the scale. So, parang ganun ko lang. Ayan yan. Ito is yan. Ito is this. And then, uh, solution no, for CE, when the force CE is isolated from the surrounding, so uh, free, body, free body diagram yung dito pa, yung dito, dito, dito. So, free body diagram. And dito, okay, pakita natin yung um, forces ko. And then, okay, so first study ng FEC, first study sa gitna kasi yan, FEC, the force sphere up in C, so the building then, so force at EC, EC kasi E to C, C, then may force dito sa baba, ito is over C, C, sa baba, okay, C, E. And then, yun yung figure mo, kasi nga, may tension ko sa taas, may tension ka pa baba. Okay, so, Newton's third law of action and reaction, so may reaction yung equal, equal and opposite reaction. So, keep the tension so that it doesn't collapse. So, at equilibrium, since equilibrium is equal, it is in natin sa CE. Okay? Diba? FC, FCE, which was here, FEC. So, may iba di diagram ng work na tayo. Then, solution, sanat natin dito. Dito. So, do not at C is subjected to through three forces. So, we will run one time now. Iba di diagram natin. Tatlo. The third. Iba di diagram natin. So, ang tingin mo lang yan, number 3. So, from dito, sanat natin. We have spring here. Force yung spring natin. Then, we have force here, which is your FCBA. So, then, I mean, maybe it might be more clear. Maybe it might be more clear. Okay, so, yun na ba? Spring is... Then, yung force CE dito, tapos di ba ang last, makita na natin yung force CE natin. So, CE. And then, FCD. So, spring mo. So, yun natin. Pwede na natin. So, we have 30, 60, yung mali pala ito. Spring is, is pa sa baba yun. So, yun natin. What is that? Is that what it is? So, let me see. Precious. So, di ba? Ano na natin? So, di ba? Mas may intindihan natin siya kung ano yung nito. So, of course, CDA kasi kumabi kong puli from your Tension dito. So, force CDE. CDE pa lang. Okay? Force CDE. So, 
Ah, uh, yun it's important to recognize that the weight of the spear does not directly act on the nut. Instead, the cord C E subjected the nut to this force. Ito ito lang yung may force ya, so yung pagbabas ya. Okay, so dito maghati yata na, okay? kasi nga iba niya, iba niya tension na naranasan yata. Kasi we distribute nasa dito sa F C D and sa F C D mo. Okay, so yun yung concept niya. So so, may mga problem, ano naman tayo dyan, um, may encounter, so, explain natin yung mga. So, pag planar force system, so, two-dimensional force, so, summation of forces ng din, may I and J, so, yung sinabi mo kanina, no, uh, acting on, on a single plane. And then, so, example tayo dito, so, basic lang to, determine the tension if you use B, a and B, C. So, dito, and then, given tayo ng 60 kilogram. So, yung cylinder, then, required that is yung tension ng EVA and our PVC. So, iba di diagram tayo, dito naman sa part ito, sa so, baba. So, iba di diagram, iba di diagram yung number one. Hmm. So, weight times mo lang yung weight natin sa uh, gravity, 9.8 lang gagamitin natin guys. And then, 588.6 Newton. Kasi so, yung sa kabila natin, sa kasi sa kabila natin, 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 then, weight is 588.6 Newton. Okay? So, yun dyan na yun. Nakuha mo na yung tension mo pababa. Okay? Na TBD. So, pero, ang minatat niya is TBA and TBC. Tension from your uh, point BA and your tension at BC. Or point BC. Okay? So, given ka naman dyan. So, yung body diagram number 2 na ito. Okay? And then, hmm, ito na yun pagkati-hati ng iba di diagram natin. Question of equilibrium. So, uh, summation of forces mo lang at x. So, simple yung cosine lang niya, cosine sine, or uh, triangle yung pinakita ko kanina, sa so, katawa. So, yung sama-sama na yan. Actually, wala pang coordinates nyo. So, try to, ano lang, understand, no? So, ano yung magagamit mo? Kasi, wala naman siya coordinates, wala naman siya process. So, the process ng gagamitin mo. So, you don't have to worry about that. And then, so, sa TC, no, cosine 45, which is your TC here, no, minus no, your uh, tension at A, which is 4 over 5. Bakit 4 over 5? Kasi nga, opposite your hypotenuse, which was 2, 0. Then, uh, transpose mo lang, get your TA, which is, we create the equation 1. So, equation 1 ka na dito. And then, summation of forces at 0. So, makakita mo yun. So, arrange mo lang TC, sine 45, since you have a 40, 45 degrees here. Sine 45, kaharap, kasi Y, plus 3 feet. No? Plus 3 feet times TA. Which is 3 feet lang then is from your here. So, of course, TA, TA, TA mo. TA mo. So, TA feet, no? your opposite, or 3 of your hypotenuse, TA minus your TBD. So, TBD is yung uh, forces mo acting on your y-axis. No? So, y lang yan. Kasi nga, direct siya. Hindi siya nakaslant eh. So, wala kang x, uh, x component nun. No? So, wabalan siya. So, 90 degrees. No? So, kumbaga, hindi siya umalis ng y mo. And then, uh, ano lang, uh, arrange. Then, substitute TA. Since yung TA mo is TC, uh, yung TA mo is was to TC times cosine 45 times 5 over 4, input mo lang siya, makukuha mo yung C, TC mo, which is your tension at C. Yung hinanap natin is tension at BC. So, same lang yun, no? B to your C. So, BC yan, or TC. So, kayo bahala dun. So, ma, ma, magigets ko naman yan once na makita ko yung solutions nyo. So, substitute to equation 1 yung TC na nakuha mo para makuha mo yung TA or your tension at point B and A. Okay? So, 420 newtons. So, yun lang siya, di ba? So, uh, 
Paano siya? Ganun mo siya makukuha. Okay? Okay. So, simple lang, no? Para makuha siya. Function. Okay. Okay. Same way of forces lang din yan. So, malay nyo, magzip pa, diba? So, mas complicated yan. Kung so, nangyayari siya. Okay. So, so lesson 7, container for system, three-dimensional for system. Uy, ito na yung sabi ko. Kung saan tatlo na yung forces mo. So, summation of forces at X, summation of forces at Y, and summation of forces at Z. So, equal lang lahat yun to zero kasi it's the same if you do the state or at rest. So, example. Uh, so, example na tayo. So, a 90 pounds is suspended from the hook shown in the figure A. The load is supported by two cables and the spring having the stiffness of uh, 500 pounds per foot. So, given the time yun, determine the force in the cables and stretch the spring for equilibrium. So, cable AD in the X and Y plane, cable AC lies in the X to Z plane. So, yun lang yun, makikita natin yan, okay? So, may point ka sa D, may point ka sa C, may point ka sa B. So, given ganyan, uh, put your given required. So, given ka na 90 in your stiffness na A. So, required. What's your required? Yung force natin sa F, no? force at B, then force at C, yung pagpupul, and force at D. Tapos, may suspended ka ng uh, load dyan. Okay? And then, so draw lang tayo. The connection at A is chosen for the equilibrium analysis since the cable forces are concurrent at this point. So, concurrent siya. Ang galing na sa isang point. Okay? Yan. Yan. And yan. So, FP, FC, FB. So, create a free body diagram para hindi tayo marito. Okay? And then, solution. So, summation of forces, titignan mo muna kung saan ka makukuha ng force. Diba? Ano ba yung force na yun yung makukuha ko? Since, no, nakita pa lang natin, no, sa so, mag-given tayo ng weight, so, acting the Z, yung force natin. So, summation of forces at Z, no, nag-act siya. Okay? Then, yung nag-act lang natin sa Z din is your FC. Diba? Ito kasi FB mo at FB mo sa X and Y lang siya nag act Okay? Hindi siya pababa o pataas. No? So, sa axis siya, hindi siya umalis. Kaya, ang makukuha natin dito, so, by looking at your diagram, the problem, makapakita mo agad kung ano yung pwede mo unahin. Kasi, di ba, iba sa sinasabi, solution of forces siya sa X, solution of forces siya sa Y, solution of forces siya sa Z. So, titignan mo yun. Minsan, hindi na yung X. Tapos, may mental block niya siya kasi, kasi hindi na alam kung kung bakit, ay, na-stop na siya dito, paano ko gagawin, ano yung next step. So, try to look at your diagram, okay? So, for, ano naman, sa uh, last, in, nakarang section, nung mali lang yung pag interpret ko sa kanila, since nauna ko yung FYC, ha? Ah, sa mission of forces ng Y. So, uh, thank you dun sa nag-correct, no? Kasi medyo sabaw na din ako nun. Kasi lang ka yung last period ko. Okay, so, summation of forces at Z. So, nakita na natin yun, no? Yun na lang yung makuha natin. So, 3 fifth, no? Gibig ka naman ng, uh, ano mo, ng component mo at your Z. So, 3 over 5. Since sa Z mo yung 3 mo eh, di ba? Hindi, hindi lagi yan, guys, ano mo, ano mo, X and Y lang. Depende yan. Kasi nga, may 3 dito tayo. So, given ka doon ng 3 na uh, fourth. So, so, para mas maintindi yan, sige. Sige. Kasi kung by words lang, minsan yung iba, hindi rin may tindihan or your old joke ko, malabo. So, FC, no? So, FZ, so, simply lang nagawa ka lang ng line dyan. FC here. Diba? So, try to look at your diagram. Ito yung FC mo. FC, no? Try to understand na sa 2D plane ka. FC, FC, ito. Then, give it to lang. 3 and 4 in your time. Okay? Ito yung F mo at your Z-axis. Sige ba? So, 3 fifth, no? 
3 times Fc. So, if you 3 mo, yung na po minus mo, tapos sa Z mo, summation of course is a 3. So, ito yun. Minus 90 pounds. So, equate mo lang basic algebra. Fc is equals to 90 times 5 thirds. Since I put minus over your uh, your Z. Kasi nga, Z na yan. May 3. So, kasi tinanspose mo lang 2. 3 over 5 dapat hindi ba siya. So, Nalikta mo na siya, this algebra to expose, then you'll get your FC na 150. And then, no, summation of forces at X equals to 0. So, meron ka ng FC. So, FB naman, no? Sa FB, summation of forces at X. So, isa lang naman yung nag-a-act natin sa X. Which is ito. Diba? Kasi bumaba siya. Bumaga, umalis siya ng axis niya. So, sine 30, given ka ng 30 dito. So, at x-axis, paharap or katabi, ay, I mean, ako nga, kaharap, 30 sine, simple yung katawa ulit. So, fd sine 30 is minus 4 feet. Since, yung fc mo, no, is, umalis siya ng x-axis. No? At ano siya ng x-axis mo? No? Umalis siya ng plane. So, tumaas siya ganun. So, meron ka? Fc, which is 4 over your 5. So, ano nang yan din? Uh, basic Pythagorean, so katawa, sine lo, o sine lo. So, tra basic trigo. Kumbaga. So, 4 feet over Fc is plus 0. So, Fd, so, transpose lang. So, 4 feet times Fc minus 1 over sine 30. You know, is equals to 4 feet times 150 times 1 over your sine uh, sin 30 degree. So you'll get your FD. So FD ka na agad, okay? And then, final, no? Para makuha mo yung summation of forces mo at FD, no? Y na. So ito, no? Y mo, FD minus FD cosine 30. No? Since yung FD mo, buwaba din siya, di ba? Nang plane mo. Okay? Mas siya ng Y. So may degree ka dito ng Y. So, FD cos 30, katabi, kasi since it's in the y-axis, so FD is equal to 240 times cos 30. Since given ka na ng 240 mo, nakuha mo siya. So, FD is equal to 207.8 pounds. So, the stretch of the spring is, so FD, di ba, yung stretch natin, given ka rin ng, uh, ano mo, ng stiffness mo. So, you'll get, FB is plus to K times your distance SAB. So SAB, transpose lang basic algebra, FB over K. So, given ka na ng FB, makuha mo na siya, 207.8 pounds over your stiffness. Okay? It's plus to 0 0.415 feet. So, tinaravel, no? Nang, nang ano mo, nang uh, spring mo, dun sa force na, nag a na, sa FD mo. So, 27.8. Yung force na yon nag-up siya dun sa weight mo. So, uh, ito yung tinirabel niya. So, ganun lang, no? Yung problem natin. So, you get your forces na C, D, and your D. E. So, basic lang, no? Hindi combination na. So, sa module 2 nyo, no? Uploaded ko na siya. Uh, try to check lang din. So, we are learning activity 1. Pp2 hanggang sa 6. Then, technical report number 2. So, doon yung sa clarification, no? uh, hindi niyan kasama sa technical report nyo. Kasama niyan sa modular activity nyo. Since mga kasama nyo kayo, mag-groupings kayo para madali. Kasi sobrang dami niyan. No? Uh, especially sa ibang part pa ng modules nyo. So, um, kung may question, no? message nyo lang ako since nag-post ko din ako ng email ko and may Uh, second ako ng Facebook kasi hindi ako pa siya nagre-reply doon sa isa since nga uh, sa work ko ang dami kong ano doon kumang messages ng kalo-alo ay akong mali po din sa inyo so sorry doon sa mga hindi ko pa nare-replyan but uh, doon yung ako message sa kabila then uh, kung may questions no sinabi ko nga no ask you lang so your uh, written report or yung magiging technical report nyo na is yung uh, learnings nyo no? your compilation or understanding sa module ko nyo so, uh, yun lang guys, no? Thank you for watching the video. Watching? Watch. Watching the video. So, kung may clarifications, no? So, hesitate to ask me, feel free. 
to ask. So, yun, module 2. So, next na yung module 3 is medyo binabasa ko din. No, pero konti na yung module 3 yung basic lang din yun. So, thank you guys for watching. So, hindi na ako magpapasubscribe. Like and comment na lang siya. Shing! So, 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 yun lang naman. No? So, sana may natutunan kayo. And thank you. And have a nice day. Okay. So, thank you.